This is like really, really nice quality. I'm watching a Real Housewives Ultimate Girls trip there in Thailand while I'm packing for my own Thailand trip. <laughs> and I'm gonna do Muay Thai boxing. It's gonna be me. It felt like a literal physical release. I am back. I had to go out and run some errands, which one of those is I have to pick up an international driver's permit because that's required in Thailand. But first, since it's late, I'm gonna, what just happened? Oh my God. There's like a thunderstorm. I'm in Houston right now, but the lights just like, I thought it was like my light here. Anyway, um, I've got a little bottle of Prosecco right here. I picked up from the grocery store in Milan. I just flew uh, through there the other day. I think it's, um, yeah, Spumante. So if I can figure out how to open it. Whoa, this is like child lock. I mean, you know, they, they're like children that can drink out there in Italy. I think the drinking age is like 16 for wine. Dude. <laughs> This is a huge box right here. I will not be keeping it all and absolutely will not be bringing it all to Thailand. But anyway, found these cute little shorts because I will definitely be going hiking and doing like gym activity, workout, outdoor activity. So I wanted some new like cute workout shorts. And these were just like, I love this ombre gradient color. Like I've never seen anything like this. And they have the nice little band for the tummy control and they have the booty scrunch. So I can be a basic <laughs> I can outline the crevice of my a So next, this is, I know what this is. I ordered an airplane outfit. First of all, I'm getting like Asian vibes. And what I mean by that is like their fashion is, it's kind of like chic and effortless and just like cool, you know? Like I feel like they wear like the baggy clothes, like the women, they wear like baggier tops, baggier pants, and just like with sneakers and it's just like cool. So that's kind of the vision that I have, but then also 17 hour flight longest flight in the world. I want to be comfortable, but also still, you know, chic. I wear a medium, so I think it is size medium, but it's supposed to give that like oversized baggy look. That's how it is supposed to fit. Slouchy, cozy, casual, chic. It's a little rougher than I hoped and imagined. I like the little like crinkles, the ruffles in them. So <laughs> I bought some white gym shoes. As we see, <laughs> these were definitely flooding. These are not for the tall girls, so that's not gonna work out with this outfit, but I think the shoes hopefully will still be cute. They look huge. <laughs> oh my gosh. Y'all, I have big feet, but these look ginormous. Now, oh my gosh, I ordered 43. I don't know what possessed me to do that. Hold on, let's feel them out. Let's give them a chance. Oh, okay, first of all, they fit. I don't know if I should admit that, <laughs> but actually I could have probably gone for like even a size larger because it's, uh, it's towing at the top. Actually, they look way better on. They're not too bad. Did you guys notice this? Why my sister have artwork that's literally Thailand, right? I think that's like Thai. Elephants for sure, I know. But like elephants also are like animal in our family because my last name is Oliphant. So we connect to elephants. <laughs> yeah, how funny and cute is that? So, by the way, I love Shein, you guys. This is my first like official set of orders from Shein. The only other experience I have actually with Shein is I went to a brick and mortar store of theirs, which I didn't even know existed um, in Tirana, Albania. I'm not sure if it's a, an official like owned by Shein brick and mortar store. I think there are people who buy clothes from Shein and then just like sell them in a store and uses the, the name, the Shein name, but so Shein is not really affiliated with them. I'm excited about this one. This gives me very, Thailand. This is so cute. Okay, first of all, the thing I love about this is that it's airy. The material is a little rough. However, it's still thin and light and breezy and airy. And the top itself has a slit and an opening. So it's kind of like a cape. That worries me because you see this is like all open. And the thing about dressing for Thailand is for the most part, they're conservative. They're, they're used to Western tourists dressing however they want, but just to get a better experience and to be respectful, I am going to try to dress as conservative as I feel comfortable. This is strapless, so that concerns me. It also has like a push-up kind of bra, but like I'm gonna bring a scarf 
is something that I do when I visit more conservative countries or just giving something that like I would find on the street in Bangkok. All right, so this three piece I absolutely fell in love with. I mean, look at that print. It's so vivid, so cute. And you can tell I'm really feeling myself right now. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think it's just inappropriate for the trip that I have in mind, um, just because it's kind of hot when it's on. And I absolutely love it as a three piece with the bralette, but I just think that it's inappropriate for Thailand. But I would definitely wear this like at a beach resort in a more liberal location. All right, so now the swimsuits. So I went really crazy and I'm pretty sure half or more of my order is swimsuits. So I'm gonna do a quick round. Try them on back to back. This is about to be <laughs> Fenty Beauty Show. I was gonna say Victoria's Secret, but we're not that thin over here. I'm not sure how like fashion forward like beach wear is in Thailand. When I think Thailand, I'm thinking like backpacker, uh, super hot. It's more of like an outdoorsy adventure type of beach as opposed to Cote d'Azur. <laughs> Lounging and, and looking like class or anything like that. It's more just like long boat hopping, island hopping, just, you know, like nature. So, and I love the like jade seafoam green deal. I think that color looks good on me and I really like that color. So this is like really, really nice quality. It's, it's stretchy. It feels like thick and really quality, quality material. I feel like a lot of their, their two pieces come with sarongs, which is really cute and really good because again, we're trying to cover the fun bits. <laughs> yeah, this would be a fail. This is a what not to wear in Thailand for sure. This is giving Miami, it's giving Vegas. They might mistake me as a night girl in Thailand, I'm just saying. Do not show up to Thailand like this. Oh my god, it's so buttery. I wish you guys could feel it. Okay, this was very much giving Angelina Jolie leg, bend and snap, and the material is unbelievably silky smooth. So I'm obsessed with Shein giving you like three pieces with the swimwear. This is actually one of my favorite cover-ups I've ever seen. It's like a lace romper, so I felt like it was kind of like a bonus outfit. <laughs> I love the variety of the cover-ups, and I definitely played in them all. Love this ruffle illusion on the side, and then this blue kind of fitted skirt that kind of reminds me of like the bodycon skirt. So this is a cover-up. This is kind of one of those things that I was talking about transitioning kind of like day to night. So, so it's actually a thick knit material. So I'm indifferent about bringing this because obviously it's very hot, but it does, it's a knit material. So it has holes, it's, it, it'll have like air coming in. Also, it shows a lot of cleavage and remember we're trying to keep it a little modest. So, okay. This is one of my favorite bikinis I found on Shein, even though I couldn't take it for my own trip. You can probably see why it's see-through and a little sexier than what I was looking for. But this was a fun set because it was the first one that I bought that actually came as a four-piece. So with the skirt, you also get a head wrap and it's so silky smooth, just like the other ones. Yes, I mean, this is just perfect. Look at this Thai bag. Completely giving like Thai vibes. Land of smiles. <laughs> I love it, I love it. That it's very light and breezy.
actually kind of love this. I didn't love it when I was just trying it on because it feels very much like a costume. And actually, it's better than I thought it was gonna be on a photo. Like stretchy, it's interesting. And then it has like a side zipper. I love it, it feels really good. I can move around in it. I'm very fitted right here is not much movement, but then at the bottom, it's more movement and a little, it gets a little more stretched. So also giving very much tie. Oh my God. So I love this one. It's very movable. The material is light again. Um, depending on how you tie it, I feel like you can adjust the under boob anyway. I feel like it's not that bad either way. So I feel like this is a look. These shoes. So this is where these come in. They're cute little chunky walking shoes. Um, despite the wooden part here, it looks wooden, but it's actually really soft. It's not like hard how it looks. They have a little bit of like height to them. Uh, I like height even though I'm tall, I'm 5'9", but I still like a little height and I feel like it just kind of dresses it up a bit. Um, and then they have these gold accents, which I like, these gold beads. So that's what makes it like cute and stylish, but it's still practical. Um, because they're open toe sandals, so I'll be able to get some ventilation through my feet for, you know, like sweating and everything like that. Um, and then they have a little bit of grip on the bottom. They're ridged, I don't know, I'm gonna call this grip. Little chunk heels with the like gladiator wrappings. Well, you can either tie them at the ankle or wrap them up your calf. And so these have like a little block heel. These are pretty comfortable for me to walk in. I would only really be using this for just like a nighttime drink or something like that. It's super, you know, it's small, so we don't want to take up too much space in our suitcase. It's quite light, I feel like. Simple, casual, and appropriate for like a nighttime drink. And I feel like I'll be safer with this for like a dress code wise than like a flat shoe. Okay, so these are the black heels. And they're super freaking comfortable. They're so comfortable to walk in. So, let me go ahead and close out this video. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you were here for the Thai packing video, then hopefully you got some inspiration and definitely make sure to check out my full packing video uh, for what I'm bringing to Thailand on my carry-on. And I go through things like toiletries, practical items. This is gonna be my first time to Thailand, my first time in Southeast Asia, my first time really in the Asian continent if you don't count Asia Minor, Turkey, and I'm going solo. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you have not yet, please subscribe to my channel because it's a lot more of this coming and a lot more travel. Um, I'm going to be taking you guys through my entire Thailand trip. So I'm very, very excited. I will be everywhere and I'll be doing some really fun, unique things. Um, so yeah, see you guys.